Welcome back to our last video in the series. This is a great one. It's really a quite interesting one too. Declaration of Principle number nine. It states, we affirm that the doorway to reformation is always open to any soul here or hereafter. In other words, the essence of who I am, Kevin, as a spiritual being in a human body, if I in my human ways are grossly hurtful, harmful, abusive, manipulative, destructive, tra traumatic, uh, if, I, if I am a cruel person by nature, if I take other people's lives, the things that I do in my life in a human way, I can reform myself in human form in the here, or when my soul returns back to spirit in the hereafter, right? So when I return into my spiritual form, I still have the same rights to reform, reformation, reform myself to work on my soul, to heal it, to educate it, to evolve it, to progress it, to ask for beings of, of higher dimensions to come and minister to me. And, I, you know, the minister needs a minister, right? And so I will probably be asking for my guides and teachers, even my loved ones in spirit, come in and, and help me evolve my soul. What can I do and, and, and how can I change my mind? How can I change my spirit, my, my, my heart vibration in the spirit world? Or I can even call upon my loved ones, guides and teachers in the higher realms of life, the angels, the ascended masters, God itself, to just surround me in the love and light of God and the universe, the angels, the spirit world, and ask for inspiration and guidance and wisdom and, and, and revelation and strength in, in my spirit to recognize in those dark cloud tragic moments of, or mess, the, just the hot mess of our life sometimes, to recognize that there is divinity within that experience. That is a, that's a silver lining spiritual lesson, you guys. And so, I'm going to say this, controversial or not, Hitler had the same right as I did to reform his life here on earth, and he still does in the hereafter. Because he's a soul, he's evolving, ever evolving, we're always ever progressing, evolving, returning in each life that we live. I do believe in the principles of reincarnation. I, it, it resonates in my soul. Spirit has taught me that principle directly. I've, I've, I've studied and, and, and read this in, in yogic materials and yoga philosophy. For me, it works. It may not work for you, and that's okay. But I want you to understand that in, in our human life or even in our spiritual life, in our spirit form in the higher, higher realms, we have the same right to reform. So a criminal, a dark soul on earth, a person who's done a lot of bad has the same right to reform as myself and any other soul that is on that ever evolving progressive path back to the point of origin from which all of us gorgeous divine sparks came back to the source we call God or Goddess or Grandfather or Great Spirit. However you call that principle, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. But I want to say to you that these are the declaration of principles that are celebrated and lived and put forward Sunday mornings uh, in, in churches and communities and in programs and in, in, in courses around the world within spiritualism and divine metaphysics and in, the, and in the practice of spiritism. And I want you to find communities like those. I want you to search out those words, spiritualism, spiritism, divine metaphysics. And I want you to find churches and centers and camps in the world that teach those. And I want you to go and immerse yourself. You can actually begin to embody and embrace these and put them in practice in your life. And those can enhance, they literally will enhance whatever religion is dear to your heart. If you're a Catholic and you're just strongly devoted to that religion, it's all good. And I want you to, to embody these teachings because it will only make whatever you believe that you need to follow as a religion, it will only make it better. If you're Christian, if you're Buddhist, if you're Muslim, if you're Jewish, whatever that is, I want you to see if you can place into your spirit these higher teachings and just elevate your soul into a new, beautiful, Christ-like, a Christ consciousness-like way. And I'm telling you, your life will be blessed. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for being a part of this series. It just brings me so much joy to share this with, with uh, congregations and communities. I will see you in a future video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a chat, a comment. I'm here to, to teach and love and support. I just celebrate you, and we'll see you in a future series.